Lou and the boys have just had a um, swimming training session and uh, they're done and her dad's come to pick her up. The boys stop to get something from the vending machine and I don't want to look socially clingy so I go and wait outside. My phone dings, a message from Hannah. Did you know bananas were fattening? Get out of town! I live off bananas, sad face. Dad pulls up in Mum's car. Dad! What? You know full well what. He's, he's just wearing pyjama shorts with a coat thrown over the top. He's even still got his slippers on. I look normal from the outside, he says. You can only tell if you're right next to the car and you look in and down. Bye, Lou, say Roman, Pete and Gabriel as they walk right past the car, looking in and down. Oh dear, grins Dad. Have I made you look uncool? Yes. Actually, I tell him, so don't smirk at me like it's no big deal, because that's exactly what you've done. I've got zero friends at school, two and a half acquaintances, given the mild bubbling hostility of Pete, I can't consider him a whole acquaintance, and you've just embarrassed me in front of them, so you can stop smiling about it. <laughs> Louise, being popular isn't about trying to be cool, says Dad. <laughs> he has no idea how wrong he is. This is exactly the sort of terrible, awful, useless advice you get off people over 25. I've heard it a million times, along with how I'll be pretty when I'm older, and how one day I'll regret shaving my legs. When? When? When I want to stuff a duvet cheaply and needle that thick leg fur? I don't think so. You know, being popular, says the man who doesn't get it, warming to his theme, it's about doing what you like. <laughs> Great. Why doesn't he just tell me to be myself? Just be yourself. Do what makes you happy and then everyone will see how cool you are and want to be friends with you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dad. I really appreciate that you care, especially as you've got so much on your plate at the moment. But this is terrible advice. Being cool is not about being yourself. It is not. And you need to stop handing out that advice in case one day someone actually listens to you and you ruin their life. I am myself and I have one friend who emails me details of meals. And my school days are so lonely and it's not fun. You have no idea what it's like to be lonely. I'm sorry, but no. It's lonely being unemployed, says Dad. I rub my finger along the door handle and stare at the chocolate wrappers on the floor. He takes a deep breath. You wake up and you have nowhere to go. And everyone rushes off to school and work where people notice if they're not there and where people need them. While I sit at home and email people asking them to notice me or need me and no one does. That's unemployment. If you don't like school, Louise, at least it'll end soon and you'll make new friends somewhere else. But I don't know when this will end. We stop at some traffic lights. On impulse, I grab Dad's hand. We need you, I tell him. Me and Lav and Mum, we all need you and we like having you around. Look, you and Mum are divorced and she's still happy to live with you. Think how amazing that makes you. And I'm having to share a room with Lav and all her girl smells and glitter that gets everywhere and spiky boot things and I'm still happier that you're here. Thanks, Lou, he says. My palm sweats gently. Shall we stop holding hands now, Dad? Yeah, I need to change gear. Someone behind us beeps loudly. The lights have gone green. Do you mind? Dad yells. We are bonding and we're new to it. We drive home in silence. But a nice silence. I text Hannah. Then why aren't monkeys fat? <laughs>